power plant. It's several hundreds of systems that are tied together with one goal in mind, to create energy so that we can live our lives. And the many processes and parts and pieces it takes to do that are impossible for one person to know on a whim. So it takes time and years of experience and practices and studying and really being dedicated to your craft to be able to contribute at these power plants. We're at the point in this industry where we're going to turn over a lot of folks. Um, this industry was built with, with a lot of baby boomers and um, a lot of those guys are looking to retire over the next few years. And when they retire, they're going to walk out the room with those 20, 30, 40 years of experiences that they have and you don't just replace that on a whim. One of the key challenges we see in the power industry today is what we call transitioning workforce. So the days of a power station having, you know, a, a huge staff that has 30 plus years of experience and, you know, basically grew up at that plant and knows it in and out are really starting to wean away. We have a much less experienced workforce. So putting things like procedures in place and using good tools, human performance tools and skills that can be consistent across the board is a way to help less experienced staff get up to speed quickly and provide them the tools in order to try to match the experience that we've had in the past. Video is a great medium in that it is quick, it doesn't take a lot of time, and you can actually demonstrate what a good pre-job brief looks like, what a good two-minute rule looks like. It's hard to convey that experience to a person by talking to them if they've never done the task, but it is easy to do if you have a video of the task you can show that to the person and have the subject matter expert or the technical expert talk through the video as the person's looking at it and they will gain that experience much faster. So the training time's cut down significantly. And if it, unfortunately, you've lost the technical expert already but you have the video, at least they can pick up that knowledge and get a good head start. The newer generations learn things differently, right? They are used to accessing digital information. They are used to just going and Googling something. They learn how to do things in their home by going to look at a YouTube video. So this almost kind of mirrors that idea of the YouTube video that instead of just going to a document, now these younger, maybe less experienced folks, when they're trying to learn what some of these things, some of these processes in a power plant look like, they can now go and watch a three to five minute video clip before they have to go and read this long document. So we're really also trying to use technology in a way to engage a, a newer, newer workforce. I think the opportunity for new people coming in to see these videos is going to put what they actually have to do and how important it is in perspective. Of course, some of the equipment out there is going to be new to them. The processes are going to be new. The procedures are going to be overwhelming. So I think that in order to see a physical video of actual people doing what we expect you to do, it's going to make the transition a lot easier. You know, these communities allow us to come here and, and build these power plants. And our return on that is that we will protect the environment, we will work safely, and we will provide them the, the best power they can at the most affordable price with as little impact on the environment as we possibly can have. And in order to do that, our employees, they have to be careful, they have to be knowledgeable, they have to do the right things all the time. Because these are the communities that they are a part of. You know, they're the ones who live in and play and go to church with these members of these communities and they have to be able to walk in there with their heads held high based on what they've done. So we take a lot of pride in doing the right things every time, making sure that we can represent our company and these communities with the work that we're doing.